Humane Society of Missouri reminds you, when it's 70 degrees and over, don't take Rover. A dog yeah. in a hot car. Something we all sweat. need to remember 70 and, and over, don't take Rover. As the temperatures are soaring, ask yourself, is it really necessary to take my dog with me? We see it every year, the soaring St. Louis heat taking a toll on pets left in vehicles. Their owners say, well, I'm only going to be a few minutes. Well, guess what? That few minutes of leaving a pet in a car can be dangerous and even deadly, even if it is for only a few minutes. Joining us to talk about it this morning is Courtney Ravenfield from the Humane Society of Missouri. Good morning. Good morning. Well, we, we've seen, it seems we have this conversation every year as the temperatures start to heat up. Is the Humane Society getting reports of pets and cars already? We are, we have gotten a few reports already this year. And why is it so dangerous, Courtney? You know, a lot of pet owners don't like leaving their pets at home, especially on beautiful summer days. And they think, oh, why don't I just bring my pet with me? But what they don't remember is that um, pets, just like us, can suffer from heat exhaustion and heat stroke, um, just like humans can. And a car, even when parked in the shade with the windows down, um, can still heat up to a very deadly temperature um, within minutes usually. So that's why our motto is when it's 70 and over, don't take Rover. Okay, so if a pet owner must bring their dog with them, is there a safe way to bring them along? Yes, if you must have your pet with you outside uh, when the temperature is on a warm day, um, the best thing to do is keep your pet in the shade at all times, um, away from direct sunlight, and um, always have access to, to clean, a fresh bowl of clean water. Um, and also, if the, if the concrete is too hot for your hand, then it's definitely too hot for your dog's paws. Uh, their paws are susceptible to burns and blisters, um, and so it's always important to check that as well. I'm already seeing posts on some neighborhood sites about how some folks saw a dog in a car at a parking lot at a Target. They called police. Um, what are some signs of dogs in distress if we do see them? Yes, absolutely. So uh, one of the first signs is excessive panting, um, followed by sometimes a confusion and um, vomiting even as a sign. So. Um, a lot of the same signs that humans show as well, um, but excessive panting would be one of the first signs. So what do we do? Do we call the police? Do we call you guys? Do we break the window? There were all kinds of comments on that Facebook page. So the first thing that you should do if you do see an animal in a, in a hot car and the owner is nowhere to be found, the first thing to do would be to call your local police department immediately. Uh, the first step should not be breaking the window. You should get on the phone with, with the local police immediately. And the second thing you should do is to call the Humane Society of Missouri's Animal Cruelty Task Force. Um, and that number is 314-647-4400. Mm -hmm. um, and those are the steps that you should take. I understand that grooming can help keep the pet cool. How is that? Absolutely. So um, a pet's coat is naturally created to help keep them cool in the summer. Um, so regular, regular grooming and brushing can also help them regulate their own body temperature. Um, but as always, we recommend um, reaching out to your veterinarian mm -hmm. and scheduling regular grooming appointments. Um, don't take matters into your own hands. Yeah, a lot of folks were talking about you confront the owner, but you never know how that can end. So thank you very much for sharing some important information. We appreciate your time this morning, Courtney. Absolutely. Thank you. All right.